Hi, I'm Vibrine Samuels and welcome back to another episode of Soul Stir in Astrology where I give you my texture take on the world of astrology. Well, on June the 29th, Mars turns stationary direct, so it's coming out of its retrograde season. However, there are still three other planets that are retrograde, that's Saturn, Neptune and Pluto. So with Saturn, it's still the invitation for you to examine those limitations and boundaries and borders that you've placed in your life and for you to question whether they really are paying off the dividends that you thought. With regards to Neptune, it's an awareness of um, the emotional dynamics to your world. It's about heightening your realisation about divinity in your life. And with Pluto, it's about the literal transformation of something that's going on in your world. It could be an attitude, a belief, a way of being, but it's really about cutting away from the past so that you're able to liberate yourself as you move through the future. Now, before Mars turns direct on the 29th, the week leading up to that is actually forming a quincunx with Uranus. And so this is where the two planets are 150 degrees away from each other. So it's, it's an aspect that causes some level of tension. So with the quincunx, there's a sense of uh, really wanting to move forward very quickly, quite impulsively. There may even be a willful streak to your actions because Mars, you spent time in the retrograde season thinking about um, your pains, your passions and wanting to transform them, coming up with your ideas and then moving forward courageously. And now there's an, a great urgency because Uranus is involved. Now with Uranus, it could also show you with these two planets in aspect, how you behave when your back is against the wall. Now where we bring in Uranus, Uranus will give you an indication to focus your attention on what are your resources and what actions are you going to take so that you're able to do so in an original or an inventive way. Well, we have Mars, Quincunx in Uranus. Again, it could show that you're um, being a revolutionary on some, uh, in some way, shape or form. You could be fighting for the cause of other people or there's a particular niche and something you're really passionate about. And a good example of this is the um, international charity Médecins Sans Frontières. And what they've done is that they have now decided not to apply for any European Union funding because they totally disagree with the refugee policy that the EU has taken. And essentially what they've done is that they've entered an agreement with Turkey that if any refugees cross over into Greece, i.e. into Europe, then they should be sent back. So here, Médecins Sans Frontières is taking a stand and is able to really confront a thorny issue and what they're seeking are potential new ideas and, and new ways in which refugee people should be treated with humanity. So it's a very powerful sign if you're seeking to transform something. Also with this aspect, it gives you an indication that you really do have the courage to go after what you truly believe in because you're not paying any attention to what other people think. So, you know, the more um, eccentric the idea or the more individual the idea is, go for it because this is a signature that's encouraging you to do so. But while you're being really focused, because that's what Mars gives you, it gives you this sense of tunnel vision, you need to be mindful because when you've got the combination of Mars and Uranus, that you could be accident prone. So if you're so um, uh, focused on a particular um, issue, you might not be paying attention for the potential for accidents. So just, you know, try and adopt a 360 degree approach in life. So there we have, we've got this um, uh, Mars and Uranus. Alongside Mar Mars and Uranus, Mars also forms a trine, and it's trining Chiron. And Chiron's over there in Pisces, and Mars obviously is still going through Scorpio. And because it's a trine, it's a softer element, so it's about the courage to actually stand up and acknowledge your accomplishments, 
because you've transformed your own pains. And once you're able to do that, you can then fight to liberate other people or liberate the collective in some way, shape or form. So I've just given you the indication of Medicine Sans Frontières around that. Because when we're dealing with Chiron, Chiron's about the wounds, it's in the sign of Pisces, so it's about collective wounds. But because you've now got the strength and courage, because you've dealt with and you've cut away um, what no longer serves you, you are able to do this far more easily for other people. So alongside uh, this Mars energy, we also have uh, um, Mercury, and Mercury is opposing Saturn. So Mercury is in Gemini, it's opposing Saturn. And that maybe on some level you're seeking some sort of external validation for your knowledge. Now, with the opposition, it's not so much an external validation, but it's an invitation for you to actually become your own authority. You know, clarify your ideas. Mercury is in Gemini, it's in one of the signs it rules. So it's in a very powerful position for you to bring clarity of thought, clarity of ideas. And once you're able to do that, then you self-validate. You don't need to be looking uh, for external validation. And um, Mercury will then leave Gemini and towards the end of the month, I believe it's the 30th, it moves into Cancer. So it moves into the very sensitive sign of Cancer. And what you may find is that you're being drawn on an emotional level. There are certain appeals that are really going to touch you in a particular way. So they could be emotional appeals that people come to you with and you ponder on them, but you're going to respond from that very feeling uh, part of yourself because we're dealing with cancer here and cancer is ruled by the moon. And so you're going to be receptive to seeing how you can transform and heal and support through the words uh, that you share with others. Um, and also it could be an indication that you're developing a really strong memory, you know, because cancer is ruled, uh, rules the past. So you might be reflecting on old memories that uh, bring you some level of comfort. Also, it's an indication that you can actually learn quite easily because you're sucking in from the environment all this different stimuli. And as a result of this, you're processing this, you're giving it some, um, you're bringing some mental clarity and thoughts around what it is that you're learning. So that deals with uh, Mercury and Mercury, as I said, moves into Cancer. Then we have what could be seen as quite a thorny, tricky aspect because we've got Venus, and Venus is opposing Pluto. Pluto is in Capricorn, Venus therefore is in Cancer. Now, on one level, this could be um, the associations of unrequited love. Um, there could be a sense of fear of going into a relationship for fear of being hurt, or you could be behaving in a way where you're trying to pressure or browbeat or persuade or manipulate the person who you feel is um, the focus of your love and attention. But you may not be reading or picking up the messages that this person may not be interested in you. And because you're not picking up the messages, this is where you have the potential to be uh, manipulative in trying to gain their affections, or you might try to buy their affections. And so what you need to be very careful that you're not pursuing someone who's emotionally unavailable or that they're already involved in a relationship. And the more that you try and pursue them is the more that they're going to back away from you. And so given the context of this Mars turning direct and what I've just said in terms of the other aspects, this could be a wonderful time for you to heal your wounds around relationships. And this is where you can pull on Mars trining Chiron and it's about the courage to face your own wounds within relationships, which will then transform this sense of trying to um, browbeat or persuade through power or a bullish approach to relationships. So there you have it. We have this uh, Mars turning direct, as I said, at the end of June, but then all of these other aspects are an indication of what you may be facing. It's about the issues of power and how you're able to pause and reflect to make sure that you've actually taken care of those past wounds. And so the question of the day is, what action 
behaviour or emotion are you going to try and transform? And the quote of the day comes from Plato and he said, the mark of a man is shown by how he uses power. So that's it for this episode. If you've got any questions or, or, or comments, put them in the comment box below. You know I always love to connect with you. Feel free to share this episode with other people in your network. You can also like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on my journey and has liked and subscribed and shared. I really do appreciate it. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next episode.